Hello and welcome to Maika Tutorials. In this tutorial, we are going to see how we can instantiate a class, that is how we can create object of a class and how we can invoke the method of a class outside it, that is how we can access a static method or a non-static method of one class in another class. Now, this is the instantiation syntax in Java. We need to give class name and the reference variable equals operator followed by new operator and then again we give the class name for which we want to create instance. Let's say if I have to create an instance of student class, what we need to give is we need to give the class name first that is student and then any reference variable we should follow the rules of identifiers and then we can give equals operator then new operator and then the class name followed by parenthesis now how to invoke method of a class outside that class for that a method can either be a non-static method or a static method if it is a non-static method then how we need to call that method we need to call that method with the reference variable so the syntax followed is reference variable dot method name now suppose if i have a reference variable s then how i can invoke a method i can give s dot whatever the name of the method is here we have given show so it will call the show method from the class for which the reference variable is s and if we have to call static method what we can do we can call it directly with the class name there is no need of creating instance in that case so we can give class name dot method name to call the method which is static in that class let's suppose if there is a sample class and there is a static method display in that class then we can invoke it in manner sample dot display we will take one example in eclipse to make it more clear so let's move to eclipse okay now here what we are going to do we are going to create two classes a and b and then we will try to access the methods of one class in another class so let us create our two classes let's say a finish similarly we will create one more class b here we will need main method as well so now what we are going to do we are going to add a static method and a non-static method in this class a and then we will try to invoke this in class b so let's add a method void m1 we can add a message over here non-static method m1 called okay similarly what we can do we can add one static method by giving the keyword static with the method definition static void m2 we will see what is a static method in depth in subsequent tutorials. Now here we will again add one message. Okay. And then we can give static method m2 call. Okay. We will save this file. Now what we are trying to do, we are trying to access these methods of class a in class b so we will move to b now here we have to call a non-static method as well so for that what we need to do we need to create instance of class a and what is the syntax for doing so we can give the class name followed by the reference variable let's say obj equals new operator and then again class name followed by parenthesis okay now with this instance i will call the non-static method m1 so what we need to do is obj dot m1 okay now this is how we can invoke a non-static method but if we have to invoke a static method we can give simply class name dot operator and then the name of the method instance is not required when we are trying to access the static method so this is how we can create instance of a class this is how we can invoke a non-static method and this is how we can 
invoke a static method. Let's execute it to validate our output. Okay, non-static method M1 is called and then static method M2 is called. I hope now it's clear to you how we can instantiate a class and how we can invoke the methods. Thank you for watching this tutorial.